H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Muted. Okay. So, and the whole idea is I will be recording this session, three-day sessions. We will see, we will learn what is ETL, what is Informatica. We will do uh, some basic hands-on so that you will have a look and feel of in the tool itself. And we will learn some basic concepts. I will go in details about the course. And we will record the session, everyday session, and I will upload it into the shared drive. I will be sending out the links to you to watch the session. And uh, so expect an email from me after the end of this class, today's class, with the link to uh, watch the session. Also, I will be sending out the full course content so that you know what is uh, expected from like what is the course expected from this uh, this training so, um, and uh, if you have any questions from today's class you can always come up with your questions in, in tomorrow's session so that's how the whole idea of these three free sessions before even I go into the details about today's session, I want to know a little introduction about or uh, maybe an intra interaction with my students. So I uh, right now everyone is on mute. I will unmute you one by one and I need some basic information from you like uh, whether you have any kind of IT background or not. Do you understand the basic database concepts or not? Um, that's it. And uh, one more uh, one more information is are you looking for ETL development or ETL testing kind of jobs okay once I get this information that will help me it to understand my audience and I will try to answer all my all your questions so let's start all right uh, I will unmute I'll start with Bhuvan I'll unmute Bhuvan so Bhuvan would you like to go first I think you are not connected to a mic, so I'll mute you again. How? Uh, let's start with Deepa. Deepa, okay. would you like to speak? Uh, in case if you you do not have a mic or you want you do not feel comfortable speaking, uh, you can always use the chat window to uh, provide me the information. So uh, Deepa, I you want to go? Yeah, uh, this is Deepa. Um, yeah, Deepa, yeah, actually, I'm in from the IT background. I I okay. already know something. I work on the business object side. I'm a developer. Okay. I want okay. to know more about this Informatica. That's the reason I joined this class. Oh, okay, that's good. So you are already in the reporting side, so you want to know the ETL part, right? Yeah, I've been working on the reporting side for 15 years now, so... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank you, Deepa. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Mm, uh, let Hamsha uh, Vishwanath, you wanna go? No, I think Vishwanath dropped. So uh, Jitendra, I don't see your microphone. I'm not sure you're connected or not. Then let's just go next. Kalpana, you wanna go? Kalpana, you have to uh, unmute yourself and then talk. I think you, yeah. Yeah, yeah hi. Uh, this is Kalpana. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm taking uh, testing courses in H2K Infosys. I'm interested in okay. testing, so I just want to check how this is. Okay, so you are looking for ETL testing kind of jobs, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, Kalpana. Okay. Uh, Jay Lahiri, you want to speak? Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, uh, I'm Lahiri and I'm taking a testing course from H2K. 
and I, mm. I can say I want to know about ETL testing and uh, things like that. So I joined the class. Okay, so you are also looking for ETL testing and job. Uh, I have no right? clue. I have no clue about ETL and uh, ETL testing. So I want to know about it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I got you. That's fine. Yeah. Th thank you. Uh, Lavanya, gonna go. Hi, I'm Lavanya. Uh, actually, I worked as a Tableau developer, but uh, I'm mm -hmm. more interested in learning ETL. Uh, I have knowledge oh. on ETL, but uh, I never got much involved in it. But uh, I would like to learn, so this, that is the reason why I'm here. Okay, okay, sounds good. Thank you, Lavanya. Um, Lena. Lena, you want to go? Okay. Uh, um, I, I I'm having a hard time uh, pronouncing your name. It's R Paru Shuri. You want to go? No? Okay. Uh, Sitaram. Hi, <coughs> Jogandhi, Sitaram. Yeah. Um, I am in uh, IT uh, and uh, I was trained in uh, SQL Server SSIS. Okay. But my background is uh, DB2 mainframe. Uh -huh. So I just want to learn um, Informatica. Okay, got it. So you are uh, you already know another ETL tool, right? SSIS. SSIS, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Okay, got it. Thank you, Sir. Yep. Uh, Bano Sophia. You wanna speak? No. Uh, Sujita, you wanna speak? Tell a little bit about yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Sujita yeah. Vinodara. Uh -huh. I'm Sujita Vinodara. I did my MCA. Right now I'm taking uh, QA classes from H2K Infosys. So um, I'm a little bit interested about ETL testing, so that's why. I okay, joined. so you are also looking for ETL testing course, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Sujita. Uh, Swapna? Uh, hold on, Swapna, I run YouTube. Uh, so now for some reason I'm not able to unmute you. Uh, if you can just text me in the chat window, that would be good. I'm not able to unmute you for some reason. Uh, Vasanta? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, hi, I'm Vasanta Sutari. I have worked in mainframes for three years. It was like uh, seven years ago. I'm looking uh -huh. for the opportunities, opportunities now, so I just want to learn something. Uh, you, you, you have worked in which technology you said? Mainframes. Mainframe, okay, okay. So you want to just switch uh, switch to ETL, right? Yeah, yeah. I want okay. to learn. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vasanta. Uh, and we have Venkata. Venkat? You want to speak, Venkat? No, and we have Vivek. Vivek, you want to speak? No. Okay, we have Jeb Menon. Jeb, you want to speak? No. Okay, uh, that's fine. So, and I, I got few, a few messages in the chat window. Let me just go through that real quick and then we'll start. Uh, so I got a Venkat. Okay, Venkat said, uh, I'm from IT background, working on big data testing. It involves Informatica 9.6 as well for the ETL process. So would like to know about Informatica and see how it helps. Okay, it sounds good, Venkat. Um, um, Vishwanath, uh, uh, um, okay, you are not coming in now, so I will attend the session later. Okay, then no problem, Vishwanath. Uh, Venkat, 
Okay, okay, so yeah. okay that's fine. Uh, let's just start the class, okay? Uh, one thing I want to tell you um, before we start the class is I got a mix of, what I see is it's a mix of ETL testing and ETL development. So for the ETL testing, um, the, um, the, for the students who are looking for ETL testing kind of role, let me tell them um, one thing. This course, I have designed the course in such a way, this course is very good for someone who is looking for development and testing role. Now, if you are looking for ETL testing role, what you have to understand is you have to know one ETL tool. So let me just give you an example. So just think about it. If I go and tell someone that I am a programmer, Okay, and so the immediate question to me would be, what programming language do you know? And let's say I, I, I reply saying that, you know what, I'm a programmer, uh, and, but I do not know any programming language. So that doesn't sound like correct, right? Same thing. So if you go and look for a job and you tell them that I am an ETL tester, then the immediate question would be what ETL tool you have used. So you tell them that, you know what, I have not used any ETL tool or I don't know any ETL tool, but uh, I have the concepts of ETL testing and I am an ETL tester, that does, doesn't sound good. So if you are looking for an ETL testing role, then you have to know an ETL tool. And Informatica is an ETL tool. So uh, now, what is the difference between knowing Informatica from a developer standpoint and from a tester standpoint? So from a tester standpoint, you do not have to know everything in that deep, okay? So deep knowledge of each and every component is not required for testing. But for a developer, yes. It's absolutely required. You have to know each and everything very deeply. Now, during the training, what I do is I very clearly tell during the training, okay, this much is required for a developer role, I'm sorry, uh, for a tester role, and going forward, whatever we are learning now is required for a developer role for each and every component. So. Um, during the training, you will come to know, okay, if I'm looking for a testing role, how much should I know? And for developer, I have to know these additional things as well. Okay, now, uh, I am not sure how many of you know, know, really know what ETL is. So I will start this training or free session uh, with the concept that what ETL is and why do we need ETL at all? And then I will come to, to, I'll tell you a little bit about Informatica. Okay. I'm not going into details about data warehousing here uh, because, uh, because that's, a, that's, a, that's a part of the actual course. So if I go into details about the data warehousing, that will take a longer time and I'll not be able to spend enough time in the tool itself. So let's start with the ETL tool. So ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. And so basically, I'm looking for a process, uh, and that process should be capable of extracting data from multiple sources, and then transform the data as per my business requirement, and load the data in some central location. So that's all ETL. Now, it can, yeah, so ETL is a process, okay? What you have to understand is ETL not a tool. ETL is a process. Now. There are tools available in the market which can implement this process. Those tools are called ETL tools. One of such tool is Informatica. You have SSIS, you have DataStage, you have Abinitio. There are quite a few other ETL tools also. So all of these tools, what they do is, the fundamental thing they do is, they try to implement ETL process. Even what I can do is I can write PL SQL code or my own Java code to implement ETL process, okay? But these tools are robust, easy to implement, and um, being proven for with the time, so people use them. 
right? Now, let's understand why do we need ETL at all in a company? So, if I'm talking about a mid-sized to big company, not a very smaller one, but mid-sized to big company, in what happens is each of these companies, they grow over a period of time, right? So over the period of time, what happens is the technology changes, the acquisition happens, the requirement changes, new departments comes up. For example, let's say if a company which is maybe 25 years old, 25 years back, maybe they used to keep their stored data in mainframe, then eventually database came and they decided they will move to some database. And eventually what happened is um, CRM system came, came and they decided to move to implement CRM. Now, uh, maybe if the financial data is still in, in um, a mainframe, maybe the sales department <coughs> moved to uh, database, maybe marketing department or some other department or manufacturing department moves to SAP. So what I'm trying to tell you is over the period, maybe 25 years or 30 years, the whole technology dynamics changes and companies keep adapting this technology for good, right? And <clears throat> so what happens is uh, at some point of time when I'm trying to integrate the data, when I'm saying integrate the data, for example, let's say I'm trying to say generate some sales report and uh, what I want to see is uh, I want to, uh, or maybe what I want to do is I want to create a seamless sales and manufacturing coordination. So what does that mean is um, I want to just see the sales and also I want to see the inventory data into it and based on that, that also I want to see um, uh, how much time, uh, time it takes the logistics part and based on that what I want to do is I want to make my um, what do you call um, uh, ordering, ordering system Auto, I want to automate my ordering system. So uh, orders for different items would be generated automatically based on so many different factors. So someone do not have to go and fit an order, right? So for that, try understand what I need is I definitely need sales data because um, if the goods are not sold, I don't want to order them, right? I also need the inventory data if the goods are, if the items are already there in my inventory, then I don't want to order the new inventory. Rather, I want to order for shipment from inventory, from warehouse to my store. And if I see that that item is not at all present in my inventory as well, then probably I'll, I want to order the uh, inventory, right? So, I need data from all these different places. Now, as I was telling, let's say the sales is maintaining the data in uh, Oracle, the uh, manufacturing is, or maybe inventory ordering system is maintained in the SAP and logistics is maintaining the data in Salesforce. So uh, I want the data from all these different places. So that's where your ETL process comes into picture. So this process should have the capability to read data from anywhere. So if you have data in any form, the process should be capable of reading that data. Um, doesn't matter whether it is in file, database, CRM, SAP, anywhere. You have the data. If you are uh, able to store the data, then the process and then the ETL process should be capable of reading that data, and then process the data. When I'm saying the process the data, that means as I was telling you, I want to generate some report or do some seamless integration. So I have some requirements there, right, which are my business requirements. So I transform means process the data and transform the data as per my business requirement and then load the data into a centralized location. Now this centralized location is called your data mark or data warehouse, okay. So this is the picture which you see here on the screen. This is more or less a high level of a ETL process. 
Any questions, anyone? Uh, what I'm expecting is you should have some understanding about what the ETL, uh, ETL does. Anyone, any questions? Why do we need ETL and what ETL does? No? Okay. So I, I, I will consider uh, you have understood this, right? So now, um, I think someone has a question. Okay. So now, um, so uh, we will learn each, uh, one of such ETL tool, which is Informatica. So uh, I will straight away go to tools so that we can spend some time in the tool. But <laughs> um, um, uh, but before going there, I, I want to tell you a few things about the training also because um, I. Uh, that's how I take this free session. I tell you something about the training and uh, so I go straight away to the tool. So when you take this training, in, I will be installing the software in your system. So you will have the Informatica tool installed in your system. That's the full version of the tool. It will not expire. And so even after the training, you can keep using the, tra using the tool, using the Informatica. Um, the Informatica, which I think we have, is 9.5. That's what we have. So we will be installing 9.5 in your system. Okay. Now let's go to the. So uh, right now in your system you cannot um, do the hands-on, but let's just. I'll show you here uh, how to. Let me see. One thing. Uh, I see some questions. Hold on for a minute. Uh, do you, uh, Bhuvan has a question. Do you have a download link? Yes. So, what will happen is once you register for the course, us we will send you the download links of the software. So you will download the software and we will do do the installation so you don't have to do the installation we will take care of the installation of the software okay mm. okay now one i am having some technical difficulty i'm very sorry that, for that for some reason my cursor is round and red you can see it and it's not working. I'm not able to, uh, when I'm clicking on start, let me see from here. Yeah, okay, but, okay, so, uh, but this is not the way I was able. So you go to all programs and I'll go to Informatica and then clients and then you go to developer client, I'm sorry, not the developer client, so power center client. And in the power center client, you will see power center designer. So this is the power center designer. Let me see if it's open. I'm recording the session, and this is the first time I'm seeing this red circle. I have never seen this earlier, and which is not allowing me. Okay, now it's allowing me. Okay. And it's not allowing me to. I'm not sure. I'm not. Uh, I'm not able to. This red circle is not allowing me to click anywhere. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Mm -hmm. Yes, you get the software when you register, but I'm not able to show you anything. Now. Uh, 
Mm. Okay, uh, I'm not able to click. It's not showing me anything, so I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm not sure whether we can continue the class today or not. So let's do one thing. I'll I'll stop today's session here. I'm extremely sorry. Yeah, I have never faced this problem earlier. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Um, let's stop start stop today's class here. We'll meet again tomorrow, and then tomorrow we'll we'll start from this. Um, we'll straight away start from informatic. And by the time, let me see what is the problem. Why I'm facing this. So. If I let me just stop recording.